for you to have gone through all of that, being also in a mental institution, being hooked on prescription drugs, and now pulling yourself out. And I love how you reframe. You're reframing, you know, all your situations. You're turning it into something positive and you're connected to that. Like you even connected your mom to the fact that it was to save you. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. Yeah. That is powerful. Yeah. And that's what and people I don't do. They don't do that. They don't connect and don't reframe and they don't see how that situation was there to pull them up or pull them out or do something for them in their lives. Right. And I'm still connecting the dots. You know, I always tell people what happened to my children. Yeah. That's not my story. The rebuild is my story. Yeah. So if it's, if I'm going from one to 10 right now, I'm at a very strong eight, a mm. very strong eight. And it's been since 20, uh, 2007. Yeah. So I just want people to know it's been this many years and I'm at an eight. If you're in year one, you're in year two and you're at a two. It's OK. Eventually okay. you can get to an eight. I know I'm going to get to a 10, but it's the process. The process from one to eight is what is meant to be seen. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't think I don't think I was meant to be on this podcast when I was a 10. I think eight is when I was supposed to be on here because yeah. three, I would have cried the whole time. <laughs> 10, I would have said it so fast. You would have been like, I don't even believe her. Right. But eight, eight is hope, but I still got a ways to go. Yeah. So that's where I mean, I'm still connecting all kind of that. 